welcome back to my channel in Zaymed. This is Supreeta. I am a medical student in BGS Medical College, Bangalore. And in today's video, I am going to be talking to you guys about how to survive first year MBBS. Now, a lot of you have been messaging me and asking me, how do I start studying? Our college has already started. I am not understanding anything. I don't know what to do. How do I take notes and things like that. So here are things. I wish somebody had told me during my first year of MBBS. So I really hope these tips are helpful to you guys and you can slay your first year. So let's get going. Tip number one, it's okay to not understand anything. Now, one of the biggest shocks when you get into MBBS is going to be that you won't understand anything, at least for the first few months of your course. Now, this is because what you have been studying up until now in 12th is going to be completely different from what you will study in MBBS. The syllabus is so vast, the syllabus is so different and the way your lecturers teach is also going to be very, very different. Um, because up until now, most of us have been spoon-fed everything, okay? Our lecturers would have given our uh, given the questions, they would give you the answers to everything, they'll tell you how to write, that is how it is until 12th. But once you get into MBBS, there is so much self-study involved that it's going to be a big surprise to you guys. But that's what everybody is going through okay nobody is understanding anything everybody is in this new environment and everybody is going through this struggle so it's not just you so just calm down calm yourselves down it's okay to not understand anything it's okay to not know anything and some of those people who are acting like they know stuff are probably just faking it so for the first two months at least give yourself some time to settle down to understand how the syllabus is to understand how your lecturers teach to understand how you need to you know make your routine just give yourselves time and calm down a little and slowly it's going to get better. Number two, how to study. Now this is probably one of the biggest questions for every medical student and that is there is so much syllabus to cover. How do I study so much? How do I study effectively? Now if I start talking about studying, there's going to be so many things that I want to tell you guys and this video is going to become extremely long. So I'll probably just make a separate video for that. But here I'll just tell you guys some basics, okay? There are two important points that I want to mention. And the first one is going to be listen to your lecturers. Now, I told you initially you will probably not understand anything that your lecturers are teaching. But it is very very important to sit in your lecturers class because even though you are not understanding anything, you will be familiarizing yourself with new concepts and new terms. Because there are so many new words and new terms and new concepts that you have never heard of before that you will get introduced to. If you just go and blindly start reading your textbook, you're going to be completely blank. But at least once if you've heard it from your lecturer or if you've heard it somewhere, then it's going to be easier for you to read the textbook. Now, the second thing is look at videos online okay now there might be topics that you don't understand when you're reading your textbook or it is the first time you're trying to learn something whatever it is just go and look at videos online about that particular topic there are so many youtube channels like ninja nerd or osmosis that cover these medical topics in short 10 20 minute videos so if you look at these videos you're going to get an idea a basic idea or an outline of the concept that they're trying to teach you so i think these are the first two things that you need to start doing right now from the beginning that's going to help you you know grasp the concepts better and start understanding medicine as a subject better so Number three, how to make notes. Now, when it comes to making notes, I actually don't like making notes so much because I have this feeling that I never actually go back and read my notes. I always end up reading my textbook. But it's not a very good thing because obviously medical textbooks are huge and you cannot possibly read the entire textbook. So um, I would recommend that when you are making notes, it is better to make it exam oriented. Now initially when you are starting you know notes and stuff uh, you cannot actually make it so much exam oriented because you don't know what questions are going to be asked. You have no idea how your internals or how your externals are going to be. So what I would suggest is that initially when you are making notes it is better to just write down your lecturer's notes. Now there are two advantages to writing down your lecturer's notes. The first thing is going to be uh, you will be getting a consolidated notes 
which has been taken from all possible textbooks because when your lecturers are making notes they are not just making it from one textbook they are probably referring um, like 10 different textbooks like standard textbooks and indian author textbooks and they'll take notes from everything and make it into one good ppt okay so the best thing that you can do initially right now is write down your lecturer's notes so that is going to be like um, an easy way of making your notes and the second advantage of taking your uh, lecturer's notes is that you will understand how they expect an answer because usually your lecturers when they're making notes they are not just making it randomly they're making it in a in a in a way that they expect answers from you during an exam so if you write it down now it is probably going to be useful to you guys in the future um, to understand how you need to write your answers Number four, have a social life. Now, one of the biggest misconceptions that people have is that if you're studying MBBS, you cannot have a social life. I would say that one of the worst things that you can do to yourself is not having a social life. Because once you pass out of MBBS, it's not just about your bookish knowledge. It is about interacting with people. Everything is going to be completely social. It's going to be about actual people. You cannot say, I'm just going to have bookish knowledge. I'm just going to be buried in my books and I won't talk to people at all. That is not at all a good thing to do. It's the worst thing that you can do to yourself. In, now let's give you an analogy for example um, if you're working out and you're doing the same exercise every single day then you're you're gonna get bored of it your body is going to be like why are you doing the same thing every day i can't take this anymore and then you'll come to a breaking point where you will not do it at all that is why you need variety in your workouts right similarly studying is also like exercising your brain if you keep studying 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 all day every day your brain is gonna get exhausted and you'll reach a breaking point and then you'll be like i don't want to study anymore at all if you but instead of this if you start doing a variety of things like you do music you do dance you do or you pursue your other hobbies then studies have actually shown that the more extracurricular activities you do the better you get at studying okay because your brain needs variety it cannot keep doing the same thing over and over again if you keep reading over and over and over again your brain is going to get exhausted and in the end you will not remember anything at all so you have to do different things you have to indulge yourself in social activities you have to indulge yourself in other hobbies to be better at studying don't read all the time okay number five build routines into your life now knowingly or unknowingly most of us would have had disorganized lives up until now and this is a very very good phase for you to start making your life more organized so try and build routines into your life by routines what i mean is <clears throat> you know for me for example i have to work out every day it is non-negotiable so i try to incorporate a particular time for working out uh, it's usually in the evenings and if I can't in the evening, I'll try to do it in the morning. So I try to wake up at a particular time. I try to make a list of things that I need to do that day. And I also try to give myself time to study and also give my time, give myself time to work out. So I try to organize my life a little bit more so that it's not hectic. You guys should also start organizing your life. You cannot just live your life mindlessly anymore because there's a lot of things you need to handle a lot of responsibilities and lot of time you'll have to put in for study as well. So make sure that you are giving equal importance to your studies as well as to your co-curricular activities and try to build in more solid habits and routines into your life and don't just lead an unhealthy lifestyle, okay? And if possible, one of the biggest uh, um, advices that I can give you guys is please start working out. Working out or exercising is going to change your life. It need not be going to the gym or, or you know, uh, working out with heavy weights or something like that. If you like running, you can go out running. If you like swimming, you can go out swimming. Do whatever you do, but, but have activity and movement in your life. Don't just be... Uh, you know leading an unhealthy lifestyle leading a number six incorporate a study routine 
or a study technique into your study life now in one of my other previous videos also i mentioned this and that is it is very very important to find out a study technique that suits you now what i mean by study technique is obviously reading in mbbs and remembering things is going to be a huge task or a huge responsibility for you guys and it's not easy initially to do that so you will have to learn ways to remember things because most of mbbs is more about remembering rather than reading so you will have to find uh, uh, techniques like active recall or spaced repetition or making your own mnemonics or making your own stories and things like that which are going to help you remember the subject better so you will have to start learning about a lot of new study techniques and incorporating them into your study life now uh, most of the things that i have been telling in this video is more of a lifestyle modification rather than specific tips why i wanted to do this general video is because in future i will definitely do a lot of videos about how to study how to ace your exams or uh, all of those will be specific tips but right now i want you guys to be more aware of your lifestyle be more aware of the way you're living your medical life rather than be more worried about your studies because obviously mbbs is a completely new phase of your life it's going to be a complete new change okay different people different way of life a different way of studying a different syllabus everything is going to be so different so it it calls for a lifestyle modification you cannot stay a kid anymore you cannot lead your uh, life mindlessly anymore you are getting into adulthood so you it is better if you start modifying your lifestyle it is better if you start incorporating exercise into your life it is better if you start organizing your life better you start learning how to manage time you start learning how to um uh, study smartly and all these things okay so i know this was a very very general video i tried to cover only the basics in this video because that's all you need right now in the first few months of mbps as the months go by obviously i will be posting a lot of videos about um how you need to study about how you need to prepare for your exams all those videos will be coming but i wanted to cover all the basic life skills kind of thing in this video because these are the things that are going to be useful in the long run okay because finally you are going to become a doctor who is going to socially interact with people who is going to be treating people you cannot be a person who just reads and is buried in their books all the time so i hope these tips were helpful to you guys in my next video i will be making a video on how i manage my time effectively as a medical student i put out a poll for this video a lot of you chose this one so i guess you guys want to know how to manage time so i'll be doing that in the next video Uh, if you like this video make sure you let me know in the comment section below if you want any other videos any other doubts you can ask that in the comment section too thank you for watching the video bye have a nice day